Okay. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to week nine. This is just a challenge introduction. So, can you guys see my screen yet? Show me some thumbs up if you can see it. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so like, uh, just as usual, if uh, if you have any questions uh, or uh, if if you find something like if you can hear me or anything, just raise your hands or just open your mic and speak because I might not see it, be able to see your comments. Okay, so this week uh, we're going to be working with uh, data driven project optimization. Uh, so uh, it's called uh, Aurora Insights Company. So you're gonna be working as a, so the project scenario for this week is you're gonna be working as a, a project manager. Uh, so uh, so you're gonna be work, working as a project ma manager, and you're gonna be working with uh, a, a way to find an efficient way to prioritize issues. Uh, Stories, resolve bottlenecks, and optimize your uh, like workflow, your team's development uh, like workflow. So you're gonna be working as a, so we have provided a data set of Aurora projects. Um, so here you're gonna be under uh, uncovering hidden patterns uh, during your analysis, uh, transforming raw data into in, uh, like actionable insights, and so on and so on. So. Uh, yeah, at the end, your uh, challenge your, or your like output is going to be finding efficient ways to prioritize issues, resolve bottlenecks, and optimize your uh, development team's workflow. So you're going to be using uh, Google Sheets. Uh, you're going to be using spreadsheets for this project uh, to crunch numbers, create uh, visualizations and develop strategies that makes uh, like that could make or break the success of the real world project. So the data we have provided is really well uh, data. So your work going to be used. I think uh, I was lost there for a second. Can you guys hear me now? It's breaking. It's breaking out, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, we can hear you, Kel. Okay. Okay. I'm um, sorry for that. Uh, the network is breaking, I think. Yeah. Okay. So in this challenge, uh, like your insights going to lead us to, or your your companies to uh, faster issue resolution, smart issue prioritization, effective team work workload management or workload balance, and more streamlined and successful project delivery and like resolving uh, bottlenecks and so on. So. Uh, we're going to be using Agile project management for this week. Uh, if you want more into that, you, you can go to this link and you'll find uh, more resource there. So here are like the key terms and concepts that you will need to understand in order to uh, like understand the our insights. So the first thing is the methodology that your company uses is Agile. Uh, so Agile is just uh, where work is broke, uh, breaking, uh, uh, broken into splits and reviewed frequently. Uh, it's just a methodology of uh, uh, like task management. Uh, and key me metrics, uh, so you will need to find key metrics as, such as to the total issues resolved, unresolved issues, uh, average story points per sprint, and uh, distribution. So 
if you are new for this, like uh, for example, stories, sprints, and so on and so on, you can find them in the uh, data that I have provided. So you can go ahead and take a look at that. So uh, story points are, are just efforts uh, required to complete the user stories or issues. So these are just uh, a numerical representation of the efforts required for to complete these projects, you can see. So you will uh, you utilize how effectively the team completes issues with varying le level of uh, like complexity. So there is low, medium, and high complexity. So you will see how efficient the team are in using these stories uh, while work working on these uh, projects. So, yeah. uh, so sprints sprints are just a series of issues labeled as tasks. Then there could be tasks, bugs, and stories uh, to be completed in a fixed time. So you have these tasks uh, or bugs or stories. So uh, if they are said to be uh, fixed or done in a fixed time, uh, they can be called as, or you can name as, uh, them as sprints. Issue type. So we have di different issues uh, that we talked about here in story points so we have bugs tasks stories uh, and priority uh, priority level so we have different prioritization levels so we have low priority uh, like and like in a, we have them here so uh, from one to five so one is low priority or the uh, no sorry the highest priority and five is the lowest priority so as the numbers goes up the priority actually decreases and blocked by and blocks is just uh, when a project blocks another project from progressing or uh, from moving forward. So if uh, another project relies on the output of this project, so this project is blocking that project from uh, moving forward or from starting even. Workload distribution is just a way of managing the workload distribution between employees so that uh, we can avoid uh, overloading uh, some of the team and underutilizing the others. So, uh, and resolved it and unresolved issues are just uh, you, like you can, uh, it's a critical part of the project optimization. Uh, so, we need to have, uh, we need to manage the ratio of resolved to unresolved issues. And dependencies is when, uh, by understanding, uh, this kind of projects. So you need to understand which issue depends on the other, and you can prioritize uh, work more efficiently. Because uh, if you don't uh, like manage the dependencies, you will definitely find uh, them like uh, one blocking the other. So what we have talked about here, so blocking by, uh, blocked by blocks. It is uh, if you manage the dependencies correctly, and, uh, yeah, you can avoid this. And bottlenecks is just issues uh, or an issue that's uh, slowing down the whole progress of the projects. So if an issue is uh, like uh, like uh, slowing down the whole issue, it's called a bottleneck. So you need to identify these bottlenecks and. It should be one of your primary uh, challenges as a project manager. You know, I didn't find this bottlenecks and resolving these issues is going to be one of the most uh, critical issues as a project management or manager. So that's just uh, the introduction. So let's get to the tasks. So the first task is just uh, there to help you understand the data set. So here we have provided two data sheets. If you go to this link, I think uh, it's yes, I'm sorry. Uh, so, so sorry, I, I couldn't see the uh, sharing uh, screen. That's why, but I can see now. It has come up again. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So I was just saying. Let me share. I think it's better if I share my whole screen. Okay, uh, so here, if 
if you go to this link, you will find the data set that you're, you're going to be work, working with. Just, uh, so here you're going to be work, working with this data set. It has a key. Key is just there to help identify uh, the issue. So issue type here is the story, uh, task, or bug, sprint, uh, status, is it resolved or unresolved, summary. Uh, you can see a, like a short uh, summary of what it is. So for this instance, it's Paradise update to uh, speed up the deploys. It's a long description of uh, what we have seen here. Story points, uh, priority. So it's three. It's more of in the middle, uh, like watch count, fixed version, affected uh, user version, uh, like who is assigned, who created it. And who is going to report about its comments, votes, issue links? Or it's a lot of things, but don't feel overwhelmed. You will, uh, once you get to uh, start work, work, uh, working with them, you will find them a lot easier. And here you will find that just the terminologies that's uh, that's going to help you understand what means what. So here you can see uh, the issue type. Uh, like everything, everything that we have talk, talked about, you can find them here. So you can go through this document in order to understand what this means. So the work starts here. So uh, the task one is just understanding uh, the, the data set that we have provided. So task two is going to be cal cal uh, to calculate the key me me metrics. So you're going to be using the Google Sheets function to calculate them. Um, so the first thing that you need to calculate is the total number of issues. Issues means uh, tasks, bugs, and stories. So you can use uh, count A, so count all. Uh, so in, you, you're gonna, so here we have just provided an example formula to calculate the total number of issues. But if you want to calculate the number of tasks, bugs, stories, independently, you can use the if the count if uh, function, but this is just an example uh, function that you can use to in order to count the whole uh, issues. So we have provided some example uh, formulas for you to get started. So here uh, it's just count if. Uh, so here you, you're going to be calculating how many uh, issues are resolved and how many issues are unresolved. So you can use the count if. So you're gonna be providing the column that's going to be that you are going to be uh, working with, and, uh, and this is just the like uh, what you're looking for. So we are looking for resolved. So it's going to be counting the number of resolved in this column. So we're gonna be having a session on this, uh, like uh, starting with uh, like working with Google Sheets, and we are going to be covering the function. So. If you are new, don't worry about it. And the next thing you're going to do is uh, cal calculating the average points per sprint. For every sprint, you're going to be calculating the average story points. And you're going to be using the average if function for this one. Uh, and here, uh, you, 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 you're going to see the issues, issue priority. Distribution, so you're going to be seeing how many issues for under each priority level. So, for the priorities, you have seen here. Um, so, here, uh, priority one is local, critical, major, minor, and trivial. So, for each uh, priority, you're going to be finding how many there are. So, you're going to be counting if. So, for instance, count if that column is, uh, let's say, is equal to one, if you want to see the priority one of the blocker. And you're going to be using count if, select the column, and it is equal to two, and so on. So, uh, you're going to be doing that, and you're going to be uh, doing dependency analysis. You're going to be seeing how, identifying uh, how many issues are blocked are, or are being blocked. So zero means blocked. So uh, no, uh, sorry, everything uh, below zero means blocked. So you're, you're going to be using this function 
to see uh, if it is being blocked or it's not being blocked. So is it clear so, so far, guys? Uh, if if everything, like, uh, if you are new to uh, these projects uh, and uh, if you are new to the program, especially, don't worry about it. So everyone, every one of us were new when we started, but uh, we got here, so... Uh, like I see some some new people and you don't feel over, overwhelmed. We will be covering everything in the sessions. So we have sessions for everything basically, so uh, you will get uh, used to them in no time. So if it's not clear, if of course you need to have the basic understanding of the project now, but if uh, things are not clear, uh, like if everything is not clear right now, uh, don't worry about it. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is visualize it. But when we say visualize, we mean uh, we need uh, like insights, not just visualization, right? So we're going to need some insights. So we're going to be using these visualizations uh, or, or, or charts or graphs in order to like, uh, draw those insights. So the first thing that we're going to use is bar chart uh, just to display the number of issues. And uh, we, the first thing that we're going to do is create a summary uh, table sheets like this one. So we have provided an example uh, summary sheets here. So here, I resolve it and I resolve it. Uh, this is a summary sheet. So screen resolve and I resolve it. So you're going to be doing that uh, here. I think I believe you have the summary sheet here. Here it is. So here, uh, screens, tasks, story, backs, and so on. So here is the graph and so on. So this is just an example summary sheet. So you, you're going to be creating a summary sheet and create elements, uh, columns for sprint, resolve it, and unresolve it, uh, and to count, sorry, to count the number of resolve it and unresolve it. In sprint, use, you can use the following for formula in the summary sheet. So here we're calling the sheet Aurora issues. So Aurora issues. So here is the uh, issues sheet so we're calling this sheet into this sheet. So, uh, we are going to be covering that as well but basically that's what so here uh so for for instance let's see what this means so from our sheets we are selecting the columns from c2 up to c uh, 555 so c means uh let's see what c means so c means print so we are counting, we are getting sprints and counting the number of sevens. So it's a count ifs. Uh, so the S means uh, we have multiple uh, like dependencies. So the first is our right from our issues, we selected the column and we counted the number of sevens. So it's going to count the number of sevens we have here, right? So here we have, uh, let's say, uh, 18. So it's going to go by 18. And then we are going to count the number of unresolved, which is from D2. So from our issues, we're going to go to D and we're going to count the number of uh, resolved. So from here, we're going to count the number of resolved. So that's what it means. So this is just an example, but uh, you will have a deeper uh, like. So don't worry about it. So it repeats. Uh, for uh, each status, it's sort of it and sort of it in others. Uh, for each sprint, for sprint one, sprint two, and so on. And then select the data uh, in the summary column and uh, like go to charts and insert the bar chart. And for x axis, should represent the sprint number, and the y axis should represent the counts of status. And you're going to be showing the issues. So here you can see it's right. So. Uh, from south, south, southern, you have this number of issues. So, so here we don't have the actually the keys here, but uh, we need to include the keys here. It doesn't have keys here, so that's why it's not uh, showing it here. But yeah, so that's how we you're gonna do. You're gonna be doing the bar chart, and in the same way, you're gonna be showing the pie chart. But here you want to show. The distribution of issue types, stories, through tasks, bugs, and so on. 
and you're going to be using stack uh, bar charts uh, to show if a certain assignee are consistently allocated with unresolved or blocked issues. So you, we want to see who, who so assigning means who, right? So who is uh, productive and who is not being productive. So we can do that from here. Uh, so here we have included the tasks or the steps that you can follow, but we will have uh, a session on that one as well. So the, the, this is just a bar chart, uh, stack bar, bar chart for issues. So it's just the same thing that we have also included the steps that you can follow to do it. Uh, here we have scatter plot in order to show the relationship between blocked issues and the priorities. So does priority affect uh, the issue being blocked or not, or blocked by all blocks? Uh, so you're going to be doing that, uh, and then so this is where uh, your hard work is going to pay off. So you have done the charts, you have done everything. So now you're going to be analyzing the insights. So you have the graphs. So now you're going to be working with the insights. So how many uh, high priority issues are resolved, and how many low priority issues are resolved? So you need to calculate that. So uh, you can summarize high priority issues from one to two, uh, X resolved and Y resolved and unresolved and low priority issues, three to five, A resolved and B unresolved. So these are just numbers, right? A, B, X, Y means just numbers. And then you can use LLM in order to just summarize your work. Summary. So th this is your self summary, right? This is your SAS summary. So based on that, uh, does the distribution of high uh, resolved, resolved high priority issues suggest effect, effective priority ambitions? Uh, so this is just an example that you can use in your LLM, so you can charge or anything. So after you summarize your work, you can use LLM to just give you a suggestion or uh, drive insights. So here is another quick question. Do certain sprints have more resolved issue than others? You can check that one as well. Uh, here we have provided an, prompt, an example prompt. So of course, you, you, you can always use uh, your own prompt. And here, is there any noticeable trends on these issues is being distributed across tasks? And are there any specific Putting links uh, caused by dependencies. So, issues that are blocked or are being blocked by others. So, we need so as at the beginning, we talked about putting links and how it's crucial for a project manager uh, to find them and to resolve them. So, the last thing uh, you're going to do so after you uh, find the insights, draw the insights, you're going to be uh, recommendation tool uh, and action plans. So, you need to create a final summary report. So here you're going to be creating a report, which is going to show all of your findings, data analysis, and interpretation from task two and task four. Uh, and your goal is to, uh, to provide a clear and concise overview of the project's help. Uh, identifying the key issues, bottlenecks, and area of improvement based on your data analysis. Uh, as a summary, you need to provide an uh, overview of your findings, mentions uh, most important uh, issues, workload distribution, and bottlenecks, and keep high level. Uh, like, uh, this is just a snapshot of uh, overview of your report. Uh, and if you choose to use AI, craft a prompt that includes a short description of your data. So here, we have provided an example account that you can use. So here are keys, metrics. So under key metrics, you need to summarize the key metrics you have calculated in task two. So just don't dump everything you have done here. So just create a summarized uh, key metrics to have calculated in task two, which include total number of issues, it's all bit that's unresolved issues, uh, average stories per sprint and prioritize uh, the uh, like priority distribution dependencies and in
tides. So you can uh, interpret what this matrix mean, uh, and you can use, of course, AI to, to help you do this. And here we have a uh, an example from it. And then we have, of course, uh, visualization in trains. Uh, so from task three, we have this. So for each start, you know, for each chart, you have to summarize the main trains and insights that you have, for example. So if you just provide the graph or the chart, it's not going to make any sense, but you need to explain what it is. So for the bar chart, did certain screens have more resolution issue or, uh, or not? So here you need to find or you need to express this after you have, like, you provide a chart. For the bar chart, what does the distribution of tasks, specs, and story reveal about the projects? So is it fo focused more on the tasks? Is it focused more on the bags? Or is it focused more on the stories? Stack graph and scatter codes is the same thing. So you, you can use AI in order to help you uh, with your insights. And bottleneck analysis, uh, so you, you can use summarize your findings from task four. Uh, and of course, here as well, you can use AI. I've provided an example points that you can use with AI in order to help you with this. And of course, at last, you have recommendation and action plans. So this is, your, this is going to be, I believe, your final uh, part of your reports. Based on your analysis, you have done your analysis, you have uh, provided insights, graphs, and so forth. So based on this analysis, you need to provide actionable recommendations. And, uh, on how to improve your project management and resolve key issues. So, uh, your recommendation should address uh, task prioritization. How is it better, or do you have a better way to prioritize high priority issues? Dependency ma management. Uh, also, which what steps can you take to resolve these issues? Independencies faster and workflow paths and insights. For the insight, you can use AI, and we have provided uh, an example prompt for that as well. So that's going to be the process. Uh, is it clear so far, guys? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Um, I'm just, uh, I want to first of all ask uh, about the graph, the pie chart, pie chart and the, the scatter plot. Um, is, are they going to be done on the Google Sheet? And um, the other question I want to ask is uh, just a uh, few of, of reasons. I, I, okay, okay, do you want to answer that? And I go on. No, no, no. Uh, like, I, I missed your last point. So uh, you, you said the scatter plot in five. I chart then what and then I think you're yeah. making that. Uh, the, 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 the by chart, the pie chart, by chart, and the scatter plot. Then yes. the, the yes, all, all yeah. these the uh, graph are they going to be done on the Google Sheets? Yes, of course, of course. You're gonna do ev everything on the Google Sheet except except the report. Everything except, except the, the report. report. You're do. Yeah. The report okay. you can so do that one to Okay. Okay. We we are working on Google Sheets, right? Yes. Okay. The the, the project the 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 project management uh, is done is going to be done basically on the Google Sheets. Yes. Okay. But the report is what we do as well and and submit but, differently. Yeah. So what? So. Uh, everything that you're going to do, like the analysis, the charts uh, the, that you're going to plot, or the graphs you're going to plot, and uh, the analysis that you're going to do, you're going to be doing that okay. with your own co co copy of the Google Sheets. But what you're going to be providing to us is the report, only the report. The report. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, just of recent, I have issue with my laptop. I don't know. Maybe I can use my phone to. Because last week I used phone for most of the tasks, so all the all, all the tasks I did. So can I use phone for all these graph, all these uh, the the Google Sheets, uh, this project management? Um, 
yes, like the functionalities that you can find or you're going to find on uh, like the web application of uh, Google Sheets is also available on the mobile app, but it's not going to be easy, to be honest. But of course, you, you can do that. But uh, like, you might find it a bit, a bit, just a bit hard. But uh, you, you you can do everything that you can do here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's good questions, Absalom. Thank you. Uh, any other questions, guys? Or is everything clear? Your side. Okay, good. Um, so that means we can move to the due dates and the submissions. So we just want to be the final submissions. We're going to be submitting it on Saturday, which is September 28th. And you're going to be submitting uh, reports, the reports on submission for task two, task four, or uh, I think we can just say task five for this instance. So I'm going to be correcting that, 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 that one because all of the submissions from task four to task four are included in task five. So you're going to be submitting a combination of all the tasks, but it has to be presented as a single cohesive document. So the reason that we classify uh, them into tasks is just to make them easier to understand and easier to do. But you have to understand that, that each task is going to be part of the whole project, right? So when you do a report, don't say task one, task two, task three, task four. Uh, the tasks are there just to help you understand it, do things more easier. So they are just part of one whole project. So when you write your report, just make sure to write it in, like in a, that sense. So you're going to be just submitting that. So I'm, I'm going to be correcting get this one to task five because this is this uh, holds everything together. Yeah, so that's going to be it and for the sessions. We're going to be having a session this afternoon in Citran on understanding project map management. And tomorrow we have a session on work, working with Google Sheets. And lastly, on Thursday, we're going to be having a session how to drive insights and explain. So here, like uh, last week, uh, there were questions on how we can interpret the like insights, so we drive insights and how are we going to get them, discuss them. So here we're going to be seeing how we can do them. And of course, we're going to be having a QA and on Friday. So we have listed uh, some of uh, the uh, like references that you can use. So uh, yeah, that's it from my side. Uh, so how do you guys feel? Are you excited about it? Is it clear? Is everything clear? Okay. Good. Uh, let me just check on a couple of people. So, Emmanuel, is it clear? Uh, yes, absolutely. You've done a great job. Uh, but I will still push for to get uh, the material to review before the next class for proper understanding. For more understanding from see. Oh, okay. The session is being recorded and they will be uploaded on YouTube in just a short period of time. So if you missed anything and you want to go over it, uh, you can do that. But in addition to, to that, if you run into any like uh, any bugs or any challenges, you can contact one of the tutors or your peers, trainees, and the trainees, and they will be more than happy uh, to help. So this is more of a community le le learning platform. So uh, I would not recommend uh, like individuals uh, like being stuck on a single ch challenge for long. So just contact the tutors. Uh, you can contact me 
or as a tutors on Slack. Uh, on Slack, you can find the tutors like uh, they have their name and uh, space dash and tutor. So you can find them by that, and you you can ask them uh, at any time. Okay, what about uh, Manamela? Is it clear? And welcome also. Okay, uh, if maybe, maybe they can speak. Um, so if there is a, there are no questions, I believe we can end the session here. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 hello. Yes, uh, hi. I hi. Uh, had a question in regards to the submission since this is my first tutorial, my first week is that I'm struggling to log into that submission platform 10 eggs. How do I get assistance into um, onboarding onto that site? Oh, okay. Uh, so you have the link, right? Uh, so let me just share the link here. Uh, okay. So you can go to the link. So did you go to the, the, the link? Maybe. So. Uh, Manamela, I think you're muted. Oh, uh, oh, yes, I'm seeing the, the I'm seeing the link, and yeah, I did open it. Okay, so after you open it, you can uh, just enter your email, and uh, don't put in your password, and then like uh, put in your email and say forgot password. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think I shared the room to the uh, link. So go go to the one Ikram shared. And after you enter, like, uh, just go ahead and uh, click on. Yes? Yeah, I did click on the 10x link. Uh, no, like, yeah, so you, you to j 10x not just 10x so we have three. yeah 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 i did uh, the second so one you go to u to j 10x and then click on forgot password and then enter your email uh yes yes i did do that earlier on today and i did not receive an email in my email so do i just oh. re-enter my email okay 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 in that case uh so you are on slack right uh yes i just downloaded it okay uh just make sure to join on slack and uh ikram will contact you and we will see the issue together oh okay thank you okay okay thank you um so if there are any other issues so make sure to contact the tutors we will be happy to share to help. Uh, but for now, uh, thank you guys for joining and uh, have a great day. Bye.